Marta Reiki, The Strength of the Sisters is an interactive photography exhibition to help South Auckland teens get in touch with their inner god or goddess. Now to tell us more, please welcome to the cafe, Steph Ekinofo and Jodice Tina Good welcome. Yeah, welcome. Good welcome. Good morning and a welcome all rolled into one. Um, Steph, you're one of the teachers of this exciting exhibition. Tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about it. Our last week we did a three-day intensive workshop with our rangatahi which is part of an ongoing program which we support throughout the year and yeah this was a response to Matariki and we unpacked the theme by looking at the strength of the sisters so looking at goddesses and gods and responded to visual arts and got the kids looking at attributes that embody certain goddesses and then making connections to their own lives. Oh, wow. and, and what do they end up creating? They responded to this through photography. Right. And so our rangatahi explored these attributes within their own lives or the lives of women um, that they know of. And then they responded to this through taking photographs. And these are all, all going to be in this exhibition. We're looking at some of them on screen now. Wow, that's very cool, isn't it? It's very cool. Now, Jodice, you've been involved with a similar program last year. Now you're a leader. Yes, so I, um, my involvement with the program this time around is I'm actually facilitating some of the workshops. We've got one tonight um, from 3 to 5 at Studio One. Um, I came on last year. I was, I guess, recruited by Sarah. Um, she has a mutual friend, my faculty of the dean I study, the dean of the faculty I study at, mm -hmm. at MIT, Grant, got into contact with her, and he recommended me for the program. Um, and since I've really spent all of my time with Ngaranga Teitua and I've recently got the opportunity to facilitate a more kind of bridge role versus just being a student, yeah. which is really cool. Okay, well, so I'm fascinated and I, I think this is fantastic, but why do you think you were recruited? Like, well, what was it that was going mm. on in your life that made you want to do this? So Ngaranga Teitua work with predominantly kids who have been shunned from intro schooling. So a lot of people from alternative education, stuff like that. I myself, um, the six, uh, graduate of alternative ed before I began at tertiary. I graduated from ATC in Highland Park, East Auckland. Nice. Um, and yeah, through my reputation there, I guess I'm, I had a similar experience to a lot of the rangatahi I met through the course um, because I, I understood being shunned by mainstream schooling and having to go through, having to jump all these obstacles, you know, to kind of get back on even par. And I think they, well, they both saw me fit. Yeah. To kind well, of well, what a them. brilliant program. If you go from being in it to being a leader now, yeah, it's obviously it's changed really your life. It's brilliant. Not bad. Absolutely. No, no, no. Hey, Stephanie, you get the, 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 the kids have to do yoga and meditation before the classes. Why is that there? Yeah. So, for all of our projects throughout the year, we start the morning with a yoga and mindfulness practice. And this is a really important way of self care. So, our staff get involved as well. We have a social worker, a counsellor in a youth engagement team that are an important part of Nga Rangatahi Toa. So it's really important, not only for self-care, but also empowering our rangatahi with life skills, basically, to help them self-regulate. Yeah. Is it hard to get them to take it seriously in the first part? Um, it can be quite <laughs> difficult, you know, in the yeah. first part. It's something that's really new to them. Yeah, that's but right. after a while, they, you know, they really open up and they do enjoy it, and it is a time and a place for them to just be themselves and to find a bit of yeah. calm and clarity before mm. we move into our busy day so and I know you're into it Joe to see I mean how did the community get involved with this this program sure so um we're running currently the workshops are running the interactive exhibition with the photography we're running in conjunction with sisters united their charitable organization run by um Paris Goble and her sisters and so the community are welcome to come down um oh, yeah. three to six tonight yeah I'm um, at studio one and kind of interact with the art of not only out on the you my peers, but also the people from uh, Sisters United who will be partaking in the workshops I mentioned earlier. Oh, awesome. So yeah, that sounds awesome. Well done, both of you. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. Sounds Absolutely. fantastic. And obviously achieving results. And here we have the living proof, which is mm. excellent. <laughs> For more information about the Matariki, the strength of the Sisters workshop and exhibitions, which you should go and check out, head along to the matarikifestival.org.nz website.